What is up, boys and girls? What is going on? It's your man, Just Chase Sama. So we're trying something a little new. I hope you guys enjoyed the <laughs> the little build-up intro to today's piece of content or whatever. So we're live streaming right now. It is currently Tuesday, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Before we get into actually playing some games today, make sure to like the stream, like the video if you guys are watching this after the fact. Today uh, is going to be my open letter to PlayStation. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, essentially this. As an owner of a PlayStation 5, I got to say, man, I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. I really like it. But there's also a lot of things about the PS5 that I really don't vibe with like the menus are a little clunky you know the playstation double tap menu on the controller and stuff like that the haptic feedback's not always the best on the controller but those i'm actually okay with i i can let those slides the one thing that does bother me uh and it's not really so much what the playstation 5 does it's really what the playstation 5 doesn't do and um you know we really need to change this so, uh, over the past, I don't know, maybe week or so, right? The last two weeks, um, this article came out, right? Talking a little bit about the PlayStation 3. Now, I know what you guys are saying. Jay, the, the PS5 is not only compatible with PS4 games. I know, I know. But check this out, check this out. I actually have a list of uh, the library of games that I have. Obviously, there's older games, Resident Evil 4, Borderlands, The Collections. Then there's Minecraft, Genshin Impact. There's also uh, Don't Starve, one of my personal favorites, Don't Starve Together. Then we come down to Ratchet & Clank, Darksiders, Darksiders 2, Dragon's Crown. What? Why am I going over this list of games? Destroy All Humans, you know, Jack 1, 2, and 3, and Jack X. There's, there's just something we can really compare about all of these games as I go down this list here. And it's the fact that a lot of these games are from earlier eras of the PlayStation 4, if not PlayStation 3 era. Some even for PlayStation 2. So, the reason why I bring up today's video and, and I talk about it this way is because I think Sony really, really is missing an opportunity for real backwards compatibility here. So, I personally would like to be able to play my PS3 games. And and this this is real. You know, we're going to put two and two together. Just stay with me here. So, over the last week, I came across this article on PCGamer.com. So, on the article, it says that every PS3 game ever released now boots up on pc through emulation now after reading through the article and finding out that it's a small team of people that have been able to manipulate and you know make the files playable i guess you could say uh through emulation this actually leads me to my issue with the playstation 5 the fact that at no point in time did sony ever really consider emulation at least to my understanding. Because when you have technology like this that exists, it's just, it seems like it would be such a no-brainer, right? Like, oh, just just put the games available on PS5. Now, here's the thing. Here's the caveat. Here's here's the, the piece de la resistance, okay? But Jay, you can't just get something for nothing. You can't expect to put your PS3 games in your PS5 and it works. Okay, sure. So we'll take away the disc. Say you can't play your disc versions of your ps3 games well based off of this list of games that i can play from my ps4 era i can i can just put the disc in there but jay those are similar technology you can play i understand that so here's my thinking here's my idea boys here's my idea i should at least be able to play my ps3 digital games because before with the ps3 going to the ps4 it, you couldn't really play your PS3 games on your PS4 because the hardware limitations. There's no way for the PS4 to read the PS3 disc. Okay, that makes sense. It's a technological barrier, much like the, the first version of the PS3 could play uh, PlayStation 2 games. But n none of the iterations after that. The slim and, you know, the one with the weird slidey top. Yeah, none of those can play PS2 games. I get it. But... 
I think we have developed technology far enough now that we see emulation on PC is, is absolutely possible. I would like to think that Sony would just acquire these guys as a company or hire them and say, hey, let's figure out some type of software way we can get people to play their PS3 games. Now, a lot of people like to tell me this. They'll be like, Jay, but there's no money in that. How do you, how do you play a game that you already own? Well, well, I'll tell you this. Let's put a dollar amount on it. What seems like a fair amount of dollars to be able to play a game you already own? I mean, unlike everybody else, I still have my, I have two PS3s, two PS4s, and a PS5 now. So, I can go ahead and turn on my PS3 and play any of my PS3 games that I have on disc. So, hmm, if I wanted to play and let's say unlock, much like some of the ones down here on the PS5, so if you have games that you've played on your PS4 and they were disc based, they're gonna show this little lock here. So with this lock, obviously you have the digital files that you can reach through the through the store so you can click this and you can buy the game right but if you put the disc in you can play the game perfectly fine so my thing is let us put our ps3 disc in and say it's 9.99 that seems like a pretty fair amount ten dollars to play a game you already own on your ps5 console now i'm sure a bunch of people are like what that's that's too much money i should just be able to put the disc in and blah blah, blah. yes you can put the disc in your PS3, but you don't have that option with the PS5. So all I'm saying is I want to be able to consolidate my collection because I just have boxes and boxes and boxes of PS3 and PS4 games. Now, here's another thing that I bring up, okay? And this is really going to hit you hard. So earlier this year, the PlayStation Vita and the PlayStation PSP, you know, stores were going to go down, right? But that was recently reversed to where now you can access the PS Vita store through the Vita. It is a little bit more difficult because purchasing things is obviously very slow. It's a little antiquated technology, blah, 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 whatever. But the PSP store is still closed. Done. You can't access it. But what I think you should be able to do, and we are clearly far enough in technology, I should be able to buy PSP games. Not play the ones that I already own but buy PSP and PS Vita games. And I'll give you one example why. So if we scroll all the way up to the top, one of the games that I own, uh, that I actually have installed here, is the original Gravity Rush. Obviously this is Gravity Rush Remastered for the PS4, but still, it is the PlayStation Vita game made for the PlayStation 4, which is playable on the PS5. You see where I'm going here? So it's still the Vita game, it's exactly the same with the, the twist controls and every feature is exactly the same. Why is it so difficult to get the Vita store added to the PlayStation 5? I don't think it's a big deal. Games that require the, the touch screen, obviously you would use the touchpad on your controller. But, I mean, what do I know? I've only owned, owned my PS5 for maybe a month or two now, maybe two or three months. I, I, don't, I don't remember, but... I've had it for long enough now to know technology has gone pretty far. But I want to know what you guys think down in the comment section. Am, am, am I wilding? Am I asking for too much to be able to take old games and be able to play them now? Even though the technology currently exists and there's evidence of it in order to play those games. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Um, I, man, I'm just, just throwing out ideas here. All right, it's a little bit of extra revenue. Sure, it will it take some tinkering to get all these things to work? Yeah, sure, obviously. Of course it is. But, uh, doesn't everything nowadays? Just saying. Just saying.